we are doing unit 4 adventure in english and after studying about bachendri pal a heroine of the himalayas conquering everest it's time for an interesting poem topsy turvy land now we studied the meaning of adventure it is an experience or event that is very unusual exciting or dangerous now conquering everest and this life of bachendri pal they were quite exciting and dangerous now we'll study about the poem where the land where the world is exciting but it's also quite unusual it's not normal let's study it topsy turvy land now first of all what is topsy turvy it means upside down and there is nothing normal it is a kind of confusing or a chaotic situation so this is the picture of topsy turvy land what do we see here that people are walking on their hand they wear, wear their cap on their feet students are going to school at night and the boat is running on the streets and the bus is running on the waters plus the sea is made of sand and there are various other unusual things in this poem let's read it the people walk upon their heads the sea is made of sand the children go to school by night in topsy turvy land so what happens people walk upon their heads their heads are down and legs are up so they walk upon their head and the sea is made of sand what is sea normally made of the sea is made of water but instead of that the sea is made of sand and children go to school by night instead of day the children are going to school at night in topsy turvy land the front door step is at the back you're walking when you stand you wear your hat upon your feet in topsy turvy land the front door through which we enter the houses but they it does not have step steps are at the back of the house and when you are walking no when you are standing you are actually walking isn't it quite confusing then you wear your hat upon your feet instead of our heads we use our hats on our feet in topsy turvy land and buses on the sea you will meet well pleasure boats are planned to travel up and down the streets in topsy turvy land and buses on the sea you will meet on the sea you will find buses and pleasure boats to travel up and down the streets will be planned pleasure boats are the boats our pleasure boat is a large boat which takes people for trips on rivers lakes or on the sea for pleasure it is usually made for short journeys so these pleasure boats are planned to travel up and down on the streets like instead of buses which run on streets pleasure boats are running on the streets and buses are running on the sea in topsy turvy land you pay for what you never get i think it must be grand for when you go you're coming back in topsy turvy land you want something you pay for it but you do not get it so that is what happens in topsy turvy land and i think it must be grand it must be fun grand normally means magnificent but out of various meanings of grand the one used here is exciting or fun why because when you go in topsy turvy land you are actually coming back so if you have to go to school you are going to school but you are coming back from school so that's how our topsy turvy land is so it was quite an easy funny entertaining poem let's read it once again the people walk upon their heads the sea is made of sand 
The children go to school by night in Topsy Turvy Land. The front doorstep is at the back. You're walking when you stand. You wear your hat upon your feet in Topsy Turvy Land. And buses on the sea you'll meet while well, pleasure boats are planned to travel up and down the streets in Topsy Turvy Land. You pay for what you never get. I think it must be grand. For when you go, you're coming back in topsy turvy land. So, what did we study in this poem? That it takes us to the land where everything is upside down. It tells us about a strange land where nothing is normal. In fact, the normal that we live in, everything is the opposite of that in this land. It has many amusing things. For instance, the sea does not contain water. And instead, it is full of sand. Similarly, there are many other strange things going on in this land, which the poem mentions. Like how the children do not go to school during the day, rather, they go to school by at night. Further, the houses have a front doorstep at the back. What is most amusing is that in this land, people walk on their hands instead of their feet. It is an entertaining poem with hilarious scenarios to think about. So after the poem, let's do the meanings. We just have two new words. First word is topsy-turvy. It means upside down, confused. Second word, grand. The word means here great or enjoyable. After the poem and meanings, it's time for activity 8. Let's write a same poem by filling missing words in the blanks. You are given the same kind of poem but there are bang blanks which you have to feel by yourself. Now, you have to think of an imaginary land which is quite unusual. And when you are up to thinking, I remember a po uh, advertisement which I heard when I was small. It's still in my mind and it's really good. It was made by Dairy Milk about a land where everything is made of chocolate. And the tune was something like Kitna maza aire Ye dunya Dairy Milk ki ban jai Dairy Milk ke panchi Dairy Milk ke peer Dairy Milk ka postman aya ha so this was an imaginary land which, which was made of dead milk. Same way you have to write the poem according to your imagination. And after that, it's time for activity 9. Find 9 words related to adventure from the following grid. I know most of the students would have solved this even when you uh, before this chapter started. You like to solve such puzzles. So you must have done this and both these activities you have to do in your textbook only. And now, the last activity of this chapter is a fun activity. Even like previous activity, I hope you must have done it and have got the correct answers. But still, let's do it. Even this activity, you just have to write in your textbook. First puzzle is, I jump when I walk, I sit when I stand, my pouch holds something precious. Who am I? It's Kangaroo. Second Choke the landscape with my ashy snow, my boiling fountain of fire and smoke. Better run through my river flows slow. I cover all you see with my darkened cloak. Who am I? It's the dangerous volcano. Third, I have a neck but no head. I have two arms but no hands. Who am I? It's a shirt or it can also be a t-shirt. Fourth, you saw me where I was never. I walked away with you. All that separates is a sheet of glass. Our only difference is the point of view. 
Who am I?